All right, Calivers, welcome back to the old YouTube channel where we're coming at you with a brand new guide on how to deal with tribulae down in the sortie basement with a melee method. I know the traditional understanding is that you should do this with a Black Mage Magic Burst method, but that's the beautiful thing about Eleven. You can do things a million different ways, and maybe you don't have a Black Mage that day. And with this method, uh, just about any group can approach this boss, not get hit with setting the stage, and kill him relatively quickly. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be kiting Tribulae and just blowing him away with skill chain and uh, weapon skill damage. Now, as you saw, we're going to be running Rune Fencer, Red Mage, Bard, Corsair, Geomancer, and White Mage for our setup. Now, when we do this uh, melee method, we're typically only going after two bosses at a time, so this is a good time to use your two hours. So the Geomancer is going to bolster. And you're going to soul voice and clarion call to get your five songs. And the buffs are a little bit weird with the songs. You actually want to do two ice carols. And this is very important to avoid as much as you possibly can uh, getting bound by Tribula. He does it frequently. And obviously getting bound while kiting is a problem. So two ice carols. You're going to do a blade magical because he's hard to hit. You're going to want to do a mind to two just to boost the damage on Red Mage's uh, weapon skills. They're going to be doing Seraph Blade. And Honor March for the haste, and obviously the Red Mage will haste to everybody else. Uh, obviously Bar Blizzard is going to be important from the White Mage, again to boost your Ice Resist to avoid getting bound. And on Rune Fencer, you're going to use your Fire Runes, and I actually like to Valiance the group before I go in to make sure everybody gets uh, as much of that Ice Resist as we can get on them. For the rolls, you're going to want to do uh, Wizard's Roll and Samurai Roll. And the Bubbles, you're going to do... Uh, you're going to use, we like to use Indie Malays and have the uh, the Geo just follow Tribulae right on his butt. And we do a Geo Acumen right in the middle. And you use Widen Compass to make sure as best as you can the, the Corsair and the Red Mage are going to stay in. Uh, so this is very simple to do on Rune Fencer. I go in, I pull him, I boost all the enmity I possibly can on him. Right, I'll pop everything. Lament, uh, Elemental Sforzo. Because once I start kiting, I can't stop to do any um, enmity moves anymore. Uh, I have to just stay really far away from him. I do all that. Get that going. Look at him over there. And while I'm boosting the enmity, the Red Mage is going to be working on debuffing Tribulate. The biggest one is gravity. Uh, the biggest, uh, the longest lasting, strongest gravity you can get on him is very important. You're going to want to distract him so that the Red Mage and the core don't have that hard of a time hitting him. Uh, Paralyze, Dia, all that good stuff. Get that on him. And once all the debuffs are on, they're just going to, the Red Mage in the core, they're just going to do Seraph Blade to Hot Shot over and over again. That will chain forever, uh, and as soon as the, the chain stops, it'll just start again with the, the next person to go. So just back to back, core goes Hot Shot, Red Mage goes Seraph Blade. Hot Shot, Seraph Blade. One of the things that can be a little bit of a problem on this guy, though, is uh, he's hard to hit. So sometimes we save the Entrust Bubble for Precision and put it on the Corsair. So you like to miss the old... Uh, Hot shot uh, a lot, and you just uh, you just you just kite him. That's it. He's running a circle. The reason we kite him is if you don't kill him in three minutes, he'll do a move called setting the stage, and that kills everybody within 30 yalms of the target of the move. And uh, technically, this method—I mean, look how fast he's dying. He's going to die in under three minutes. But even still, kiting is better because he also resets TP. He does a lot of knockback. Uh, is you're kiting him, he's not doing any of that stuff to harass your DDs, and you just keep uh, you just keep it moving. Look at this! Look how easy this is. This method is so easy. I feel like we should be selling it on like a late night TV show. And there, that's it. He's dead. Look at that. So again, yeah, basically any group can uh, can can do this method. Look at him bow. What a chump. Uh, any any. Group can do this method. Uh, quick, simple way to get 10,000 Golem off where you can kill this guy every time. And uh, this method is actually very effective against Dartok as well, the E boss. The only difference is you don't have to kite all the way on the edge of the room like that. You just want to stay about 20 ohms from him. And uh, it, it'll work perfectly. So there you go, guys. Tribulae. Easy peasy. And uh, simple. And enjoy it. I hope this helped. 
Uh, catch us on Twitch. Every day but Saturday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. We do stuff like this every day. We hope to see you there. And if not, you know, just uh, whatever. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Thank you.